Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Cassie. Today is day 28 of my third day vegan challenge. I have to convince that I give up. I ate a lot of meat last week, like this and this. I don't know, this meat product is just so delicious. I'm kidding, it's vegan. Be it for healthy reasons, climate change, or animal welfare, plant-based meat products are gaining popularity. According to a report last year by research firm Markets and Markets, the global plant-based meat market was estimated to be worth 4.3 billion in 2020 and is projected to reach 8.3 billion by 2025. First, let's ask vegetarians if they will take plant-based meat products or not. I'm not much fans of plant-based meat. I don't like it, I don't like it. Because I really like it. I'm more than that. Can you try it? Can you try it? I'm well, there are differences from person to person. So this week I interviewed Golden, the founder of a Hong Kong veg brand, Batata Greens, that produces own plant-based meat products. Let's straighten out all the doubts about plant-based meat. Hi, I'm Gordon. Um, I'm a 25 years vegetarian and two years of vegan. Butter the Greens is a vegetarian food supplier in Hong Kong. Uh, we supply our products for wholesale to restaurants and catering. And for retail, we have our own grocery stores and we also launch our products in other platforms such as supermarkets and online shopping platforms, etc. We have all ranges of products like um, to substitute beef, we have veggie minced beef and burger. Um, for pork, we have bacon and ham. For poultry, we have veggie chicken and veggie dog. And from the sea, we have veggie fish and veggie seafood, etc. Um, they are all veggie and they are all good replacement of meat. Um, for most of our products, the major ingredients are soybean, mushroom, uh, gluten, konjac, etc. Our brand aims the markets of um, uh, the Hong Kong markets. So we always try to bring food, uh, food products which fit in with the Hong Kong food culture. Uh, for example, the Hong Kong people, they like hot pot. So we have hot pot ingredients. We have like um, fish balls, even dim sums, which Hong Kong people love and they are willing to accept. I think vegan meats is, is still a processed food. So they are not as healthy as uh, whole food. However, I think it's definitely a healthier substitution of meat products. I think vegan meat is a stepping stone for meat eaters to gradually transform their diet to plant-based diet. And with a vegan meat, it would be difficult for meat eaters to initiate a change. And for a long-time vegetarian or vegan, do they really meet vegan meat? I mean, um, it's no harm to have um, like delicious product in, in their diet, but it, it really depends on individuals. But I believe that um, one day, most of the people will go for plant-based diet. Golden recommend I try these veggie drumsticks, fish balls, and squid balls. I really like them. Uh, even I still can tell it's made of tofu and soybeans. But the best part is to imagine its taste when you cook it. I really admire these people who are trying to make vegetarian meals more attractive. Time flies, my 30 vegan challenge will be successful in two days. I can't wait to share my report card with you. Make sure to subscribe to Go City and next week I will tell you everything about my 30 day vegan journey. If you want to know more about Girls in Asia, make sure you subscribe to Girl City.